This new chat GPT update is absolutely insane. So what we can see here is a new update from chat GPT that allows you to generate images using chat GPT 4.0. So for example, if you tag in the option, create image, you can actually edit and create insanely good images. Like you can see right here, like professional level design. So for example, I said, create a landscape YouTube thumbnail like this, but it should be read the end of designers about new chat GPT updates. Previously it's about search. And we actually got it to edit the image like you see right here. It wasn't quite perfect. And then I said, right, now frame it better. This is more background space. Cut it off so there's no space around the edges. Remove the designers at the bottom. Boom shakalaka. We have a professionally designed thumbnail ready to go using chat GPT images. This is a game changer. Bear in mind, like, for example, for thumbnail designs or Facebook ad creatives, you're looking at anywhere between $30 to $100 per design. Now, if you're using ChatGPT, you can do it for free using this process. And yeah, it's absolutely wild how powerful this is. Here's some more examples. You can see we took this image, generated it through ChatGPT, asked it to edit it, and we've got a beautiful thumbnail right there. And the same, for example, Facebook ads images. So for example, if we say create image, replicate this, but make it more unique. Boom, there you go. The only thing I would say with the drawback here is obviously that doesn't look quite the same as the original. It looks a bit weird, but I'm sure you can go back and forth and edit it. Here's another one. So we said, recreate this thumbnail, make it better. Took a screenshot of the thumbnail, like tiny little resolution right there. And boom, it just recreated it. Like you can see right here, face is still a little bit weird, but I didn't ask it to make it the same face. I asked it to make it more unique. And you can see here how it's just replicated. For example, the icons, you can edit images seamlessly. It's like version of Canva, but a hundred times better because it's faster, it's easier. It doesn't cost you, all you're doing is paying for the subscription of ChatGPT and this will be coming for free as well to use it soon. And it is incredibly easy to use. Like, why do you need a designer anymore? That's the crazy thing that also scares me at the same time. If you're wondering, okay, what are the details on this? What's changed, etc. So this is the update announced and it was just like a day or so ago that this came out. So this is 4.0 image generation. So it's no longer using DALI 3 from what I'm aware, right? It says, on ChatGPT and OpenAI's website, unlocking useful and valuable image generation with a natively multimodal, capable of, of precise, accurate, photorealistic outputs, right? So for example, if you go on to ChatGPT here, we'll start a new chat, and then you select create image, this is where you can create your images. Now, for example, we could go on to YouTube. Let me just take an example thumbnail here. It's actually scary how easy it is to replicate stuff now. So for example, if we take maybe a thumbnail like this one. All right. We'll grab that. Take a little cheeky screenshot. There we go. All right. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to copy that image. So I'm going to copy this image on Mac. There we go. All right. And then from here, we're going to go into chat GPT, like you can see, and we're going to say, okay, just make this slightly brighter plus more interesting, more shocking, should we say, right? And you can see here that you can actually understand the image, you can understand what we're doing here. It will take a few minutes to generate, but actually it seems to be faster and better than DALI 3 previous. And it is unbelievable what you can get. We can check back in that in a second. We'll see the outputs. So this is really cool stuff. So yeah, I honestly used to use Grok 3 and Flux, their model inside Grok 3 for generating images, but this is 10 times better. Here's an example. So they've said a widescreen image with a phone of a glass whiteboard in a room overlooking the Bay Bridge, feel blah, blah, blah. Generated this image, which is pretty cool. And then selfie view of the photographer as she turns around to high five him. Boom, look at that image. Like how realistic is that? Looks super, super realistic. Like most people outside of the AI world could never tell that image was generated. So designers are cooked, my friends. Graphic designers in particular, absolutely cooked. And yeah, you get the point. I'm sure it can design like, for example, apps and that sort of thing as well, if you wanted to improve the UI, or you could screenshot you if you were generating a SaaS product, put it inside the chat, ask it to redesign it using that process. So it's incredibly powerful. And it's really interesting the way they've portrayed it on the website. So they've said from the first cave paintings to modern infographics, humans have used visual imagery to communicate, persuade and analyze, which is true, right? So if you look at the way people design Facebook ads or the way that people design, for example, YouTube thumbnails, right? This is all about influencing, persuading, and educating, right? And AI has just developed a whole new level of communicating with humans, right? You can see we just generated a new version of our thumbnail. 
boom shakalaka, we're ready to go. We could also set up, change the bottom V3.1 to, and I'll put we're cooked, then make that text red. And then you can just edit images like you see, and you don't need to design. You don't really need to use your brain that much. And it's just, oh, here's the problem. Okay. Let's quickly change that and edit it inside here. So it's just ridiculously and stupidly good. I've never seen anything like this. I've never expected AI to get to this level this quickly, to be honest, when it comes to images, because that is, that's a $50 design or a hundred dollar design right there. Like you pay good money for this. I pay thousands of dollars for design every single month. I think we pay a thumbnail anywhere between our designer, anywhere between 30 to a hundred dollars per thumbnail. Now we can do it for free inside chat GPT. And if you're watching this, mate, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Chat GPT has done this. I will still use designers. Don't get me wrong, but for slight tweaks or just improving a design or just like leveling up a design and getting it exactly how I want, it's much easier to just go for a chat GPT, get it done in two minutes rather than going back and forth with a designer and messing around with all that stuff. That's the difference. It's scary stuff. How does this work? You can see an example here. So let's say create a photo, realistic image of two widgets in their twenties. And then it's created this nice little image right there. That is very photo realistic. It feels very similar. My goodness, doesn't it feel similar? And then we've got multi-turn generation. So it says, because image generation is now native to GPT-40, you can refine images through natural conversation. GPT-40 can build upon images and text in chat context, ensuring consistency throughout. For example, if you're designing a video game character, the character's appearance remains coherent across multiple iterations as you refine the experiment. So this was a big problem with chat GPT before was like, if you asked for a new version of the previous version that Dali 3 created, it would be a totally different image. It wasn't like you were just tweaking one little thing. Whereas now, for example, if you say, give this cat a detective hat and a monocle, of course it's going to do it, right? Literally, this is the best thing since sliced bread. It's amazing how good it is and how powerful it is. You can also take this to a whole new level. So if you look at the realism here, it feels a little bit weird, right? But then scroll down and look at that image. Like that's basically perfect, right? Hey, you can see here how it's been superimposed into a video game as well. So it started out like this with an actual image of a cat, and that is someone's cat. Then we've added a detective hat and a monocle on top. You got the Sherlock Holmes of the cat world right there. And then what it's done is it's turned that into kind of like a RPG character, like you can see with the bars underneath. And then it's, let's just put this in a landscape mode and just casually put it into a video game style. And it's created something that looks better than the PlayStation games that I used to play when I was younger. So you can see how powerful this is and how unbelievably good it is. Look at that. So we took this image, we said, make it slightly brighter and more shocking. And then we said, change the bottom V3.1 to we're cooked and make the text red. Boom. Thumbnail done, mate. What more do you want? And it's done in the space of two seconds. So the cool thing about this is as well, this is not like a gimmick, like this has an actionable purpose, right? So for example, look at the thumbnail for this video, right? Like you can actually use these images for thumbnails. They're incredibly good and incredibly powerful. So this is not a gimmick. It's not like a nice to have. It's not like an extra feature. It's like something you can go out there and actually start using today, right? Which is a beautiful thing about this. It's like you're creating something that has a very practical use case. It's not like nice to have. So really cool stuff. Can it help build websites? I think what it could be really good for is, for example, designing UI. So if we go back to the way that you can design the UI like this with games, you can take like real life images like this cat that someone actually has and then turn it into a video game character and then probably build that with Gemini 2.5 or O1 Mini. Yeah, it's unbelievably good. So the scary thing about this is basically designers have been replaced overnight, undeniable, right? Like why would you use a designer anymore when you can just create something like this? You don't need to manage someone. You don't need to quality control someone. You don't need to pay them. You don't need to wait a day for the images and the designs to come back. And if you, for example, were spending maybe like $200 a day on thumbnails or, or designs, now you can switch to ChatGPT and the image creator. You save yourself $200 a day. And all of a sudden you're looking at $6,000 extra profit and a lot of time saved and managing time, right? That's the difference in how powerful this stuff is. And yeah, it's absolutely unbelievable. Now, what you can also do is you can generate coded images, right? So for example, here you've got code generated images like you can see. So this is a code generated image. For example, let's test this out. I want to see if this actually works, right? So we're going to grab that. So 
It's a 3JS code example. And then it's created an image off the back of it. So basically what it's done is it's taken the HTML code and then inside the chat, the user has said, make an image of what this means to you, right? What does this image mean to you? And then it actually creates a coded image. So it uses the language of code in HTML to switch that into an image and generate an image off the back of it, which is pretty wild when you think about it. It's like, a, could you do that with a human? No, like it's only an AI that's really capable of that. Here's another example. So this is a candid paparazzi style photo of Karl Marx hurriedly walking through the parking lot of the Mall of America. Weird, crazy stuff right here. Picture of a car. What else we got? A little very realistic stuff as well, isn't it? When you look at it, it's like, why would you use? I can imagine tools like, for example, Shutterstock. Why would you use Shutterstock anymore? Why would you pay for these stock image websites when you can just replace them with hyper-realistic stuff like this? Here's another example. You can also create infographics. You can crop stuff. You can edit hallucinations. You've got precise graphing as well. Text rendering editing precision, dense information with small text, etc. It's unbelievable powerful. They've actually got a live stream that you can watch on the website if you want to watch that back, but yeah, really cool stuff. You can see how it can be used, how powerful it is, how it's actually like very practical. This is not a gimmick. Like I could run an ad with that. The only thing that I would change is probably, for example, I would take that image and ask it to make it more realistic. Or what I could do is I can go onto the website. Let's do that. So let's go onto the website here and we'll take that image right there. And then I'm going to go back into chat GPT here and we'll say, okay, let's replace the person in the image with this image attached. All right. So basically what we've done is said, right, replace this geezer over here. who looks quite weird to be honest with you. And then insert this image instead. And it should just be up to do it. We'll see how it goes and what it goes. Some people are saying like, is this available on the free version? So it's coming for the free version of ChatGPT. It's not available yet, right? So Sam Altman actually tweeted about this and he said, images in ChatGPT are way more popular than we expected. And we had pretty high expectations. Rollout to our free tier is unfortunately going to be delayed for a while, but I know it's coming. It's just a case of when, right? But you can see some of the interesting stuff you can do here. Pretty crazy, crazy stuff. Also, the other thing I would say that's changed here is like Dali 3 was very limited. If you asked it to do anything like this, it would just never do it and it would return like really cartoonish stuff. And also it was very limited in terms of you couldn't create an image of a famous person or something like that. They really limited it so that you couldn't, for example, ask it to generate an image of Elon Musk or something like that. So let's see what we get back here. We'll wait for that to load. It takes, I would say literally about 60 seconds to 180 seconds to get back the image. If, for example, you try to, one of my other favorite sort of places for generating images is Grok, right? So if we go into Grok here, paste this in, so as you can see, and then we're going to do exactly the same prompt. So I'm going to say replicate this, but more unique and see if it can do the same thing. I don't think it's going to be able to. Yeah. So it's created sort of an image. Honestly, that's not great. I'm not that happy with the image generated right there. That looks even weirder than the original. They're both weird, but it's not bad. It's not bad. All right. And the other thing that I would like to test here is maybe we'll stop that and we'll say, okay, take this image and turn it into a Facebook ad and we'll see if it can do it. Right. About my SEO agency and backlinks and then design equals minimal, sleek, benefit driven copy like Alex or Mosey. And we'll plug that in and see what we got. Now, if you have a look at the responses from Grok, pretty trash, to be honest. Look how pixelated that is. The text is terrible right there. It didn't get anywhere near the same level as ChatGPT. ChatGPT came back to us with this. GPT-4 with the images feature. Grok came back to us with this. Terrible. I could never use that on a Facebook ad, but I could use that, right? I have used similar images on Facebook ads before that. So you get the point. And it's very unique. So. You know, you can see the difference here. You can see what makes them unique. You can see the difference in quality, even like the resolution here, pretty bad compared to chat GPT's resolution. The similarity in imagery between this and this is nowhere near. Whereas if you look at chat GPT, the similarity in the image between this and this is basically the same, but maybe that even looks a bit better, right? And then if you want to download it, boom, there you go. You're the image ready to go, as you can see right there. And it's pretty good quality. All right, so let's have a look. This is a Facebook ad that we're getting back here. We'll wait for that to load. 
Yeah, it's, this is the interesting thing, and I think it's got the image right there. But it's generating quite a nice ad right there. Pretty simple to insert. It's using the image that I asked it to generate. This is coming out in real time, peeps. We've got history in the making right here. We've got a Facebook ad in the making. Let's say, for example, you need to create 10 different Facebook ads to test each week. How easy would it be now to do that using ChatGPT? You could have multiple tabs open and then just create 10 different images and say, create 10 different variations of this, different sales copy, etc. It would just go off and do it. And all of a sudden it's faster and it's easier and it's far cheaper than using a natural designer. So I think the end for website developers already came. I think the end for SaaS developers, app developers, etc. It's already come with tools like Lovable, Bolt, etc. The end for human writers came a long time ago when ChatGPT 3.5 came along. This, I honestly think, is the end for designers. I can't see why you would use a designer, especially for the average Jack Johnson off the street trying to save a bit of money and do stuff. So it's unbelievably powerful. You can do similar things, I think, inside Gemini 2.5 Pro as well, which would be super interesting to do. I might come on to that later, but you get the point and you can see how powerful this is. Thanks very much for watching. If you were thinking about designer, you probably just saved yourself thousands of dollars by using the information from this video, honestly. And if you want to join a community with people focused on saving money and making more money, plus saving time with AI, feel free to join the AI Profit Boardroom. Prices are going up in a few days, so make sure you sign up now before the end of the month. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on that legacy pricing option. And also, this comes with all my best automations so like email content automation, social media, AI agents and workflows web automation, AI trends, ASEO automation, NA10 templates, a crash course, plus my whole collection for SAPs, right? And this gets updated pretty much daily. Like you can see all the stuff that we've been adding directly inside here every single day inside March. And then also in the community, you can ask 557 members any questions you have about AI. So if you're struggling with anything AI related, you can post inside the community and get your questions solved. So for example, Sean, he posted yesterday and you know, he got answers pretty much straight away. You can also see, for example, we have weekly Q&A calls. So if you need live help, not in the community, then you can jump on the live calls right here. These get recorded as well, so you can watch them back inside the Q&A call recording section over here. And yeah, it's just a community focused on making you more money and saving time with AI. And if you wanna get more leads, traffic, sales, customers, if you wanna make more money with your website, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. And on this call, one-to-one, -one, we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. And on this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan. So that's a custom game plan to make you more money and get more customers with SEO. You'll also be able to answer any questions that you have live on the call, and you'll learn how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments and the description.